hearty hello to the Rural Business Award judges. Welcome to our orchard here at the Woodside Environmental Education Centre. Sadly, we can't actually send you the samples this year due to COVID related constraints. However, I felt I wanted to give you a real flavour of what the Great Outdoors represents in the form of samples here. So whilst it's not as tactile as holding them yourselves, this is the next best thing. So I'm going to take you through a journey, one sample at a time, that I hope you really enjoy and you get a real taste of what we stand for and our core values. Sample number one is a hazel teapot stand. And this activity is delivered at our adult special needs program, our child after school clubs and our new online activity program. So environmental credentials, very high. We simply use hazel whips, off cuts from the garden, and we teach fine motor skills to both the groups I mentioned by teaching them how to strip hazel and then we show them careful tool use using secateurs and gross motor skills, stretching and um, weaving the main hoop and then the um, actual interspersing sections. A really good activity this one. Sample number two are these wonderful wildwood owls either decorated with reused, recycled Christmas decoration paper or the natural look using sawdust from old offcuts in a normal garden environment. So environmental credentials extremely high. All you see here is recycled or repurposed. We've got chicken feathers here, um, we've got old Christmas wrapping paper obviously the sawdust and the wood itself. The wood comes from off cuts in the garden. This is an old section of ash tree. So the tools we use and the strengths here, there is a lot going on with this activity. We use saws with both our adults in care clients and our children in after school clubs with very careful industry standard health and safety. We also use drills. These are small drills, very usable for both primary age children and adults in care. And obviously, we use tape measures to teach both groups numeracy. These tools teach hand-eye coordination, fine motor skills and gross motor skills. So there's an awful lot going on with this activity. Sample number three are these amazing wildwood Santas made at our adults in care, homes and online, as well as our after school clubs. So environmental credentials, extremely high. The only item we use here that we can't claim to have environmental um, thumbs up on is the PVA glue. Otherwise, we're using recycled old off cuts of felt, um, we're using cotton wool um, makeup pads, not letting them just get thrown away and disposed of, and also we're using old card off cuts. And the most important one, the body is using off cuts of garden lengths of wood. Here is an ash tree, for example. So what are the skills that this shares? We use saws with all the groups mentioned, and this provides a very good focus on fine motor skills and eye coordination, as does the use of drills. And we also introduce numeracy into the activity with tape measures. So with all these items though, there is a fierce attention to health and safety, and we're very proud of our health and safety standards. Sample number four 
are these wonderful spring lambs. And this we always run in spring to herald the bonnie lambs when they arrive. So, environmental credentials, again, extremely high. We deliver this to our adults in care, face-to-face -face program, our children, school clubs, and online. So, how do we do it? All of these items that you see, the materials are recycled. The wool has come from our very own sheep here at Woodside Environmental Education Centre. The block of wood is recycled off cuts and um, we use recycled cardboard. The skills that we actually deliver here are fine motor skills using a pencil to pierce through the cardboard to make a hole and then popping some wool through to create the body of your sheep. We also use tape measures to measure the little base and a little bit of help from a felt tip to um, decorate the face. But this is a wonderful activity and also a wonderful keepsake. Sample number five is this lovely wildwood pendant, fit for any mum, carer, granny, whomever you love. Double-sided, environmental credentials, very high. Again, we use the offcut from the garden, whatever the type of wood you have. This activity can be run at our face-to-face -face adults in care programs, after school clubs, and our online activity program. So, what skills do we teach? Fine motor skills, as previously mentioned, with use of saws. Tape measure to measure the, the widths of the wood and the all important drill to create the holes so that the twine can be threaded. This activity is such a popular one and we find that the parents, carers, loved ones have these for years and years after the activity is actually run. Sample number six is this lovely Easter bunny. Wild wood, again, using the offcuts from the garden. Environmental credentials, extremely high once more. We are using felt tips for decoration. And there's some extra tools here. There's all sorts going on with this one. A lot of risk learning here. Now, in particular, I've gone through the processes where we use the saw to cut the wood, the tape to measure the um, thickness. But here we're using and teaching both adults in care and children at primary schools how to safely use a staple gun. Typically we use hand over hand technique, but it's perfectly doable. And the other one, which you might have caught, caught your eye, is the bill hook. Now this we use to create the hind legs of the bunny. And we use very, very careful health and safety protocols with this using a homemade mallet. The children do not swing the bill hook, they use it placed on the wooden item and then gently tap until the, uh, the circle disc splits in two, making two hind legs for the rabbit. It's such a great activity, this one, and teaches all sorts of fine and gross motor skills. Sample number seven is this wonderful gift for Father's Day or a loved one. We do this activity with adults in care, face to face and at our after school clubs. And it's an online activity program special. So the environmental credentials, medium if I'm honest. So what are the key ingredients? First of all, we have these mounts, canvas mounts. We use PVA. We adorn the surface with PVA glue. We then send off our willing learners to find leaves of different shapes and textures. And then we crush down powder paint with a good old fashioned length of off cut of garden to make that into a powder and then drizzle over the leaves, allow to dry and then peel back the leaves. This is a very simple activity, but an absolutely fantastic one for effective results. And it'll last for years. 
the skills here we're teaching, fine motor skills. Last but not least, sample number eight. We're here at an autumn after school club and it's oh, ever so, ever so popular. Hey, there's something. Nature. There's something. Oh. There's something new. Look at this. Something to behold. Very proud. They have wow. Brilliantly that is amazing. That is just amazing. Now, children, this is so, so nice. I actually feel like I want to eat that. I really do. We're here at an autumnal after school club and we have come upon, what have we come upon? A pie. No, a pie, a, a nature pizza. pie. A pizza. And a pizza. Yeah. Tell me about the pizza. How many it? slices are on the pizza? Ten. Ten, yeah. I'm loving it. Right, Why children, you, you should be proud of yourselves. Look, all the parents are here. Look, they're all watching in awe. Are we ready? Now, I want a photo.